Hi friends, welcome back to AI Tech English. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add text input or text field into our Kiwi app and how to modify it. So come on, let's get started. Before getting into the video, if you did not subscribe to our channel, please subscribe by click clicking the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell icon and set it to all so that you will never miss a video that was uploaded by me in the future. Come on, let's get into the video. So first of all, we are going to open our code editor and uh, here it is. I am using VS Code. You can use any of your choice. So here um, we have done a lot of tutorials using this code editor and I, this project. So we are going to do today's tutorial with this project and now I am going to import the text input class from a module. So let me show you how uh, from kiwi.uxi.textinput import text input class. So it starts from T text input class. So the starting letters of the words will be in capital. So here now after uh, importing this class we should add this class to a variable so in the sense we should assign this into a variable so self dot um, let's give it a name input is equal to text input so now the class is assigned to uh, assigned inside the self input here we can uh, give a text attribute text is equal to enter your um, or enter a or enter your name that's enough I think so actually this is not really needed but this text attribute can be useful for you in uh, any of uh, real-time situations so now we, sh we have created a text input and we have to just uh, uh, add it in our screen so I have copied that self dot input and here I have pasted it here so now let's uh, run this code and see how it works mm, yeah let's run it so it has started running mm. so here you can see that our text box has been added to a screen the problem here is that it is occupying the full screen so to solve that problem we should add a piece of code so let us add it now so after closing that application you have to just write here come here and write size hint is equal to a tuple so i think you know about tuples if you don't know you can learn it from w3 schools python tutorials so here i am giving two values 0.5 and 0.5 0 0.5 in the sense 50 percent so here uh, 0.5 in the first value is x value and the second is y value so why we have to assign this because we should adjust the size of a text box so let us see how it looks after adding this so there is no needed to add 0 you can add just 0.5 but for your convenient i have added 0 now let us run this program so you can see that the text box has been little um, small but the actual text box will not be like this so we have to make it like a real time one so now let us go to the code and let us um, go to the code and let us change the value I am giving the x value as 1 so that the width will be 100% and the height will be 0.7 that is 70% so you can see that it is not still uh, even looking good but now let us uh, give it um, little 0.5 or 0.3 I think 0.3 will be okay mm. Uh, but still it needs to be reduced uh, 0 0.1 it looks better but yeah it's fine okay this is enough so you can see that our textbook is in the bottom but we should take it to the top 
so that we can add one more attribute called pause hint so here you can see that it is in the bottom we should go and add it to the top so we can simply give a comma and pause hint attribute here comes the pause hint attribute to play um, here we are giving it as a dictionary so I am giving it top so center is not needed because we are going to set it to the top top colon 1 so this is enough now let us run our program you can see that our text box has been successfully located in the top so I think you have understood how to set up a text input and how to modify it so there are still more attributes like font size um, many more so let us see step by step now we should add a button after this input so for that I am giving self dot submit is equal to a button same like as we did in our last video so why I am giving here button is to uh, get the value from the user and we should show that uh, value to the user so now um, let us give it the name text is equal to um, submit that's enough so here we will get we will take the name of the user and we will return it back to him let's see how it comes so here it uh, the button did not come because we did not add the button to our screen so self dot button dot add widget uh, self dot submit in the parameters now let's run and see where it is so you can see that the submit button has fully occupied the space and uh, we cannot even see our text field so for that we should just go and add a little bit of code like same as the input self uh, sorry size hint is equal to 0 0.5 uh, it is in x value and the y value is 0 0.5 but it looks little yeah it looks uh, it looks even more big so i'm just giving the values um, what shall i give it's 3 3 and 1 so let us see how it will look so yeah it's good looking pretty good let's give this value to 2 it looks more even better so i have given the value 1 so let's give it 2 now it looks little better let's see yeah it's looking fine now we should add this um, self dot submit to the center of our screen so here we are using pause hint again and this time it's also a dictionary this time i'm going to give center x and center y for assigning any uh, widget in center of the screen you should use center x and center y so here center x is equal to 0 0.5 and center y is equal to sorry it's not is equal it's colon 0 0.5 so let's see how the output comes yeah it's fine but you can see that there is more gap between the text field and our um, button so let's increase the value of y axis 0 0.6 so again we should increase it 8 is better i think mm, let's see yeah it's looking fine so now the thing we should do is here we should get the name of the user and we should show him back so let us do it by using a function so here we are uh, emptying our text field so that the user can uh, enter their names so let me show you i have emptied the text attribute so it is um, now fine it is empty so that we can enter our name or anything blah 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 but here the font size is very 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 small so we should uh, increase a little bit so we are going to give font size attribute so same as label and um, submit sorry label and uh, button we are giving 
font size for text input also here let us give it a um, size of 30 i think 30 it's enough so okay let's give 30 i'm just copying it and pasting it into the uh, button at button so this it saves our times too so here you can see that our um our text has got some more size and now the only thing we have to do is to get the input and we should show it to the user so for that we will be defining a function so let me go down and here let me define a function so first def is equal to sorry def on submit so here we have to pass self and instance so big so now let's give mm, let's first print and see how the value will be in uh, kiwi so self dot input dot text this is the way to take the text from the input field so we have defined the function but it should be executed when we, when uh, the user clicks on button so here we should add a statement called let me show you self dot in uh, self dot submit dot bind in the parameters on press this is an event on press is an event is equal to uh, self dot on submit so on submit sorry submit yeah now uh, our code is pretty good and it's over now let us run this and see here i'm typing for example uh yahi tech english so let's submit let's submit and see how the data will be shown in the print command so you can see that our data has been shown here yahi tech english so this is the way how we get the data from the user now you should show it back to the user so for that i'm just uh, creating a label so let's go to the top and here I'm just giving a name for the label variable name self dot label is equal to label so label is a class and now we have to I have already imported the class also so here we'll give the text is equal to enter your name that's good I think so let's give enter your name that's fine so this is not needed your name is not really needed enter your name we can actually change it in the function so now let's get down to our function so i'm just increasing the font size of this label to 40 so now let's get down let's see once how it looks so here we have done a mistake that we did not add it to our screen so again we should add it to our screen add widget is equal to okay, this is equal to comes to my mind every time self dot label so now let's see how it looks mm. yeah it's pretty good now so now let us close this app and let us go and write uh, two lines of code i think it's enough for showing the data to the user in python you can do anything you want because it's um, free and also it is easy to understand now let's go down and here instead of printing the statement i'm taking this self.input.text into a name variable and now I'm taking the text of label that is our label enter your name so I'm going to take the text of the label self dot label 
dot text is equal to so here on clicking the button the label will be changed as shown here your name is so let it be in the small letters no matter what it is so colon and here i am giving flower brackets to format the value in the placeholder so it is actually called as placeholder so here i am giving the variable name so the name will be um situated here actually it will be appended here in the bracket so now let us run our code yeah 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 and submit so you can see that our name has been clearly written here so i think you have understood the concept of text input and you can do many things with this text input so in i will meet you in next tutorial video so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box below and i will be waiting for your comments to reply thank you for watching if you did not subscribe don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell icon and set it to all thank you for watching guys bye meet you in next video so bye